If your app deals with location, you're bound to want to add a map to it. And the easiest way to do that on iOS is of course to use Apple's inbuilt mapping frameworks and tools available to all developers. I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. First create a new project. Single view application will do. And as you can see of course our new project loads. Go into the storyboard and as you can see we have our one single view controller. Into this we want to add a map. Of course Xcode has an inbuilt map view object for using the built-in Apple Maps in the iOS in iOS. Don't let me say the iOS. So once we drag our map in, we'll center it. And of course we're using auto layout, so we just want to add um, fixed constraints all the way around. So our map takes up our full screen. Of course, if you're making a different type of map based app where you just want the map taking a part of the screen, you can um, work out your own layouts, I'm not your mother. So now that we have our map in our view controller, we want to link it to our code so we can do stuff to it. So control drag our map into our view controller. And let's call this our map, or let's just call it map. Oh, you have an error. That's because you need to import map kit, which is all the classes and functions that have to do with mapping. So import map kit and see my customary fat fingers. So we have our map imported, we have map kit imported, all's looking good. Now we want to set the center location of our map. To do this we um, go into our view did load because we want to set the location that our map is showing when our view loads. We want to create a variable for our center location so we want to go there center location equals. Now this is a type CL location Location coordinate 2D make. And this will take two um, variables a latitude and a longitude. Now I'm just going to use an example latitude and longitude that I'm getting from Google uh, Maps. You see, I have my Google Maps here, and I've just highlighted this longitude and latitude that it gives me from my location. You can get that by uh, right clicking and going, What is here? Uh, I'm going to copy and paste that in there just for convenience. First, copy the latitude and paste that in there, and then the longitude. Copy that, paste that in there. So we have our end, just like that. So we have our longitude and latitude. The next thing we want to do is create something called a map span. This is the um, well, the range of latitude and latitudes that our map is going to cover. So we want our map span to be there. Map span equals mk map uh, coordinate uh, span make and we want this to just for convenience sake we're going to make this 0.01 and the next one we're also going to make 0.01 uh, so do that press enter lastly we want to make a map region this is the actual region that our map on our screen is going to show so this one is going to be map region uh, equals MK re, uh, re, uh, coordinate region make and we want to insert our map our center location center location and our map span so that's all done we have all our variables set up so now we want to put our values into our map we do that by setting the region that the map is going to show so we want to go self to get us down to the Brute of the view controller map dot set um, region and we want a mk region zone which we created there which is our map uh, region and we want to what do you want it to be animated which we do because yeah, it looks good so that's all done where our map is set up now we just have to compile our app so there is our map running in an app displayed in the simulator. So that's how you simply add a uh, map and location 
to your app in a way that's very easy on iOS. You don't need to be going around screenshotting or adding other SDKs. 